does Super Mario sound Italian? Hello number ones and welcome to Metatron's Academy, the channel where we explore how to learn languages in the most fun and effective way possible. Today, at the time of this recording, is the 10th of March, which is Mario Day. I'm really happy about that because I've been a huge fan of the series, I've been playing the majority of Super Mario games since the very first one. So today's question is more of a nerdy question rather than a linguistic one, but I believe we can learn a thing or two about both Italian and languages in general. The question does Super Mario sound Italian of course has to do with his voice, so we're not going to really talk about the very first games, like in Super Mario 1, he doesn't speak. Super Mario 2, don't remember him speaking. Same for Super Mario 3, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember Dr. Mario saying anything either. Not sure about Mario World, but definitely what I can remember and what I'm going to use for this video are these two games. Super Mario Kart for Super Nintendo and Mario 64, Super Mario 64 for Nintendo 64. In my experience, I've only ever heard Super Mario using two languages, switching between English and Italian. So today we're going to have a little bit of a double evaluation. Does he sound Italian when he speaks English? And most importantly, does he sound Italian when he uses Italian words? And I believe it can bring some interesting perspective on this video because of the fact that, of course, yeah, my YouTube name is Metatron, but my name is Raffaello. Just like this guy. I'm such a nerd. I was born and bred in Italy and Italian is my first language. Does Super Mario sound Italian when he uses Italian to me? Starting right off the bat with the English part, which is really the easiest one. For example, whenever you select a character in Super Mario Kart, you'll hear Mario saying, let's -a go, as you proceed through the menus. In that, he has a very stereotypical Italian accent as he speaks English. Now, this stereotypical Italian accent is not necessarily the way Italians speak, in the sense that rather than a perfect representation of what an Italian accent sounds like, it's more of a caricature of what an Italian accent sounds like. And it's based on the fact that Italian uh, as a language and Italians as speakers, we do have the tendency of stressing or accentuating not the last vowel, but the penultimate. The vowel before the last tends to receive stress in Italian. And therefore, some native speakers of Italian tend to transport that basic matrix, or the way they understand vowel structure in our language, being Italian, into English. Let's go! But would we say it that way? Honestly, no. It's exaggerated. Now look at these verbs in Italian. They all have this characteristic. We say mangiare, dormire, andare, cadere. So you can notice that there is a pretty systematic stress on the penultimate vowel. We don't say andare, mangiare, dormire, cadere. So we don't stress the beginning and we don't stress the end. We don't say mangiare, cadere, etc. Mangiare, dormire, cadere, andare. With that being said, we also don't say andare, cadere, dormire. That's too much. And it's what you usually get in stereotype accents, an exaggeration. Also, this is not always the case. For example, look at these words. These are not pronounced periodo, tavolo, telefono, following the penultimate rule, but these tend to be stressed on a different vowel, and we say tavolo, periodo, telefono. So to answer the first question, yes, he does have an Italian accent when he speaks English, but it's a stereotypical Italian accent. It's more of a caricature. It's not exactly a great representation, but it's an exaggerated representation of how Italians sound when they speak English. What about this Italian? I think one of the most famous words, Italian words, used by Mario and his brother, I'll tell you a little trivia about his brother's name, by the way, in a second, so make sure to keep watching, is the expression Mamma Mia. Do we Italians really say Mamma Mia as an expression of surprise or joy? Absolutely. I use it all the time. I used it when I was living in the UK, I used it when I was living in Japan, and I still use it here in America. So we love our Mamma Mia. Now, does he sound authentic when he says Mamma Mia? He goes, Mamma Mia! So even when he speaks Italian itself, he doesn't sound authentic. He just sounds like an American voice actor who's trying to put on a stereotype Italian accent. But maybe the expression Mamma Mia itself is not enough to judge his Italian accent in Italian. At the end of the day, when you say Mamma Mia, you might be in a situation of stress, you might be in a situation of joy, maybe you're scared, maybe you're surprised. Perhaps that could justify the fact that he's putting too much emphasis in his Mamma Mia! Not really, because I still wouldn't say it like that, but does he use any other Italian expression? Oh yes. So, 
Super Mario 64. The nerd that I am found out that if you stand still in Super Mario 64 and you do absolutely nothing, Mario will start getting bored and then he'll fall asleep. <laughs> Which I thought it was adorable. Anyways, while Mario sleeps in Mario 64, if you keep not touching the stick and he keeps on sleeping, he will start dreaming of pasta. I can relate there. So he's dreaming of spaghetti, ravioli, wonderful. How does he sound? He says it like this. Ah, spaghetti. Ah, ravioli. Mamma mia. So from an Italian perspective, we once again have the exaggerated stereotypical accent, but also we have the lack of the double T. We say spaghetti, but nowhere, anywhere in Italy will anyone ever pronounce it with a single T. No one says spaghetti. It's spaghetti or spaghetti. So yes, Super Mario sounds foreign. Should he sound 100% Italian? And the answer to that is probably no. Was Mario born in Italy? No. And a lot of people will say, well, Mario is more of an Italian-American, but then again, he wasn't born in New York either. I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he was born in like Yoshi's Island or something. So, are they Italian? Yes. Do they use Italian in their family? I think so. I think when they speak to each other, they probably use Italian and then they use English when they speak to other people. The way I say that is because, as you can see, when he dreams, he dreams in Italian. When he's scared or surprised, he says Mamma Mia. So I believe Mario uses Italian. And also I'd like to underline another fun fact. Even the little mushrooms say Ciao in Italian, spelt the Italian way, not the Spanish way. Maybe they speak Italian too. All of this is wonderful, but still, should he have no accent when he speaks Italian? Probably not. Because, I mean, I don't know what kind of, Maybe he has a Yoshi Island accent. What do I know? <laughs> but I did promise you a little interesting fun fact about Luigi. Let me tell you this. Depending on how strong you pronounce the G in Luigi, you could say it with a Northern Italian accent or with a Southern Italian accent. If you want to sound like a Northern Italian, just pronounce one single G. Luigi. If you want to sound like a Southern Italian, all the way up to Rome, really, so even Central, then pronounce it as if it was spelled with two Gs. Luigi. Can you tell the difference? Luigi? Luigi. If you could tell the difference, let me know in the comments below and let me know which one you intend on using. Here is a little challenge for you. As you can see, I've got a little collection. All of these cartridges are original from the 80s and the 90s, but not all of the boxes are original. Some boxes are replicas, some boxes are original. Can you tell which of these boxes are real from the 80s and the 90s and which ones are not real and they're replicas? Let me know in the comments. I'll respond and read them all. Thank you very much for watching and joining Metatron's Academy.